my name is Carol, and um, I just have had the experience in my life where my husband passed away. We had been um, married for five years, and in those five years, we had had three children. And so at his passing, um, my children were three, two, and eight months old. I do remember that first Sunday after the funeral, they were all in car seats or boosters, and I felt like I was about a five-year-old myself. I felt like I was a little girl that had three kids, and all I wanted to do was climb up on Jesus' lap and just sit there and just let him hold me. So here I was left with my three kids, and I felt like my purpose at that point in life was to be their mom and to do it the best I could. Um, I even asked the Lord um, if I could be a stay-at-home mom, even though I didn't have any work. I hadn't worked it during the whole time my husband had been sick because I was busy taking care of the family and I'd taken care of him. And um, the Lord answered that prayer, and at least in the times when the children were still at home before school. Um, I was able to be an at-home mom with them, and um, that was a true answer to prayer, um, a true blessing as well. We enjoyed the elementary years. Um, those were probably my favorite because they were tiring and busy, but joyful. And again, my husband and I had looked for joy in each day. I tried to teach my children how to find um, the good, the joy in every day. And so we had this little thing. We had, these are our looking for the good glasses. <laughs> and so if things were kind of, you know, not so happy at a particular point, I'd put on our glasses and um, the kids would put on theirs and we would go looking for the good. And we would see what we could do to find the good in whatever the day had. So, that's kind of how we made it through. At first, um, you know, it was just a challenge to even um, make sure the kids had a schedule, that they were fed and bathed and taken care of and um, had that schedule, that bedtime schedule, and just had fun. And that was pretty much my emphasis to try to get them. And then when school started, um, then came along the different types of um, activities, so I tried to let my kids have exposure to different things, um, different sports and different things like that, so that they could kind of find out what they liked and maybe then pursue some of that. And um, there were times when we didn't have money for everything to, that we needed, all the bills to be paid. And oh, what I would do is I would just write down those different needs that we had, the different bills that we had, and I would pray over them. And I would just give them to the Lord. And I knew he would be faithful because he always had been, and he doesn't change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is not going to change. And that was reassuring to me. And I don't know how it happened. On paper, nothing ever looked like it would work out. But in reality of life, nothing was late. No bills were late. There were times we didn't have food, and there would be food that would show up on the, on the sidewalk. Um, we would be gone, and then we'd come back, and there was like just bags and bags lined up along the sidewalk. And um, there were different people that would give us just it doesn't even sound like it's provision but to us it was I mean we we received wood we received um, gift cards to like pennies so we could go shopping for clothes we received you know sweet corn that some of the farmers might have picked um, and it was not one miracle that the Lord provided for us it was just living in his favor and living trusting that the Lord was going to take care of us We 
did a lot of building of family traditions. We would um, just enjoy sledding. We would enjoy raking leaves, jumping in the leaves. We enjoyed um, being able to go get a Christmas tree. We enjoyed making cookies. We enjoyed all kinds of different fun activities. We lived with um, Lake Access, so there was water nearby. So it was um, fishing and swimming were definitely on the um, docket for us. We enjoyed that a lot. And um, then when they had friends over, um, I encouraged them to have their friends over as they got older and we would do some of those same things and just include their friends. We would camp in the backyard. We would, you know, go find a park and we would go just spend some time there. We'd go make a picnic and we would just, we just had fun.